Hello students, how are you all? Now you will be able to climb infinite peaks in maths because now you are having support of Ashish sir. Welcome to the PW English platform. Today we are going to discuss mistakes that you need to avoid if you want to score 95% plus in your boards particularly in mathematics. Yes, so let us see particularly which mistakes you have to avoid. Very first, many time I have seen that during entire year students are uh, using different sets of material different books and in the end last two months last one and a half months they are using different material so very first mistake that you need to avoid is don't use different books yes use same material you have to use same material which you have followed during your entire year or from last uh, or for last six year, months or last seven months last eight months whichever material you have used please follow that only okay few people few students which I have uh, whom I have observed that entire year they have done NCRT and NCRT exemplar and in the end they are going for RD Sharma no this is very huge mistake this is very huge blunder frankly speaking yes because if you have done NCRT and NCRT exemplar entire year so in the end also you have to practice for NCRT and NCRT well no new questions yes still if you want to move for RD Sharma just you can take similar level questions or you can just go for solved examples not entirely new hope you are getting my point. now here few students will tell me that sir during entire year if i focus from chapter 1 to chapter 13 for few chapters i have finished ncrt for few chapters my last exercise of ncrt is pending for few chapters my few questions of exemplar are pending so whichever questions are your pending you can finish that not an issue suppose for few chapter your last ncrt uh, miscellaneous exercise miscellaneous examples are pending you can finish you can finish this example sir in the beginning i have read rd sharma only for few chapters and after that i couldn't follow it not an issue the beginning if you have followed rd sharma so just revise first those chapters only after that if you are having enough time that yes sir i am having enough time i can go with this then and then only you should go for that so last 60 days you can divide like this for 30 days you can read and for 30 days you can give for practice and if you are having only 45 days left whenever you are seeing last 30 days you should practice you should give for practicing of papers only and remaining days you should give for finish and for finishing this also your high priority should be not to switch book whatever books you have studied and uh, during your entire year you have to follow you have to revise d next very next mistake that i have seen that students are not making formula book in mathematics in i <laughs> still remember one of my students from 2022 batch i offered him bribe <laughs> yes <laughs> i told him that bacha is make formula book i'll give you 20000 rupees and see those 20000 rupees are still in my pocket <laughs> yes so please i am telling you please make formula book or uh, please 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 humble request why because with this formula book your speed is going to increase like anything yes you all have seen rocket yes or no please give me some uh acha few might be telling sir this rocket which we are uh, firing up in Diwali, yeah, no problem, both are working on the same principle. So, if you see this rocket, why this rocket will move upward? Because it is having thrust on its downward part. Yeah. When you are going to light it up, because of this thrust, it is going to move in upward. To move in upward direction. So, because of this thrust, it will move in upward direction. This formula book is going to play the same role only. This formula book is nothing but it is going to give you fuel or it is going to be your thrust for your mathematics examination. Yes. With this formula book, all formula and all methods will be on your finger. Yes. All formula, all methods will be on your finger. And once you are having all these formula and methods in your fingertips, then you can easily skyrocket. You can easily go you can easily jump in your mathematics paper just by seeing question paper you'll be able to realize oh this formula this method this formula this method this formula this method my teacher given me this idea when i was studying in 10th 11 12 
I followed this method and with this method I was able to score 100 out of 100 in my class 10th boards examination 93 out of 100 in my class 12th boards exam and with the help of the same concept my many students have scored very high marks in maths yes I have seen students for jumping from 50 to 60 60 to 70 70 to 80 80 to 90 even one of my students you won't believe he was scoring 14 marks from 14 marks she jumped to 41 this is out of 50 from 14 out of 50 she jumped to 41 out of 50 because of this method formula book and one more method which i'll tell you in the end of this video so please stay connected to know the second secret okay third mistake people are doing between uh, or confused they are getting confused between previous year paper and sample papers that whenever they are solving papers or whenever they are giving mock exam the students are getting confused sir shall we go for previous year papers or shall we go for sample paper? if you could have asked me this question last year i could have given you go for previous paper first because till last year there was no change in syllabus but from this year you guys are reading new ncr is having a very difference very high difference there are so many questions so many uh, concepts that you have to remove there are so many chapters in which now method is different to solve that particular question if i talk about inverse trigonometric function so particularly for those functions inverse trigonometric functions how to solve generally if sine inverse x plus sine inverse y was given till last year we were converting into tan inverse plus tan inverse something we are applying formula of tan inverse plus tan but we cannot do that now then what to do now that all i'll show you in board booster batch so very first you need to focus on sample paper yes you should go for previous paper as well so for previous paper you should be able to analyze that yes this question is from deleted concept so we should skip this question if this is from deleted concept then we should skip this you should be able to analyze you should be able to identify you should be able to identify so if you are able to identify read previous year question papers and identify there are so many uh, questions on vector algebra i can say or 3d geometry particularly for 3d geometry there are so many questions on planes the last year so many questions on planes that you can see in previous year question papers but now from this year plane is deleted so similar questions can come from lines as well yes if earlier they were asking about angles of two plane angle between two plane now they can ask uh, questions like angles between two lines or similarly different concepts like distance between point and plane distance between point and line anything all those things i'll show you in board booster so high priority you should give to sample papers and in board booster batch we are going to give you ample amount of test with respect to new pattern and with respect to new syllabus as well okay so this is my recommendation for papers next thing whenever you are going to attempt paper whenever you are going to write exams you are going to make errors you are going to make mistakes and mistakes are good don't worry so learn from your mistakes many time the next thing that you have to avoid is many times students when they make mistake they oh, mistake <laughs> don't do like this don't tear your papers apart don't throw your papers apart no analyze your mistake yes you need to analyze that particularly this mistake is from which chapter which topic and what was the main villain behind this error or who was the main villain behind this error whether you put wrong formula or whether you have done some calculation mistake or wrong method calculation mistake or wrong method generally these two methods or two errors are being found so what you have to do whatever error you have done you have to mention it in error correction yes and this is the last and second surprise of this video that girl i told you she scored from 14 out of 50 to 41 out of 50 with the help of these two books only formula book and error correction book she made formula book and error correction book for each and every chapter for each and every exam whenever she was giving next exam he was revising from formula book oh, this formula this formula yes and after just going through all the formulae after that she was applying for paper after giving paper she was analyzing uh, she analyzed her mistakes and after analyzing her mistakes she has written all the mistakes in her error correction book from error correction book she got the idea oh i done this form uh, mistake earlier 
so i should not do this now so same question when or similar type of question when she was appearing for next mock test at that time she analyzed oh this was the same question or same formula i kept it wrong so i should change this formula this is the real formula oh last time i had done this error plus minus here it is mode like that so all this overcome and she scored from 14 to 4 so i hope if you will follow all these methods easily you will be able to score high in your maths exam from 50 to 60 to 70 to 80 to 90 to 95 plus wish you all the best see you soon in board booster batch